so this morning I'm going to do a body combat class that I've found with my gym. So they just follow along, uh, you can watch and you can listen. Um, I really, really love body combat and I'm glad that I found these on-demand classes because I've been really missing it. So yeah, it just looks like that. an after body combat class looks like. I am like a tomato but I feel so good, so much better, so much energy. Maybe not at the second because I feel like I'm dying but I know that I'm gonna feel good all day. Um, in my mind my body might be a bit sore but I'll feel healthy. Um, yeah it's definitely worth it. Okay, it's gonna be a really, really nice day today. I think it's give it like 24 or 25 degrees, which is amazing weather for England. Um, so me and Alex are meeting up for a picnic and I got tagged in the, basically I'm absolutely obsessed with this thing called Biscoff. These little Lotus, Lotus Biscoff biscuits are absolutely amazing and the spread is unreal. So I got tagged in these Biscoff truffle things um, and they look really really easy to make. I know a couple of people have made them and they've, came out re they've come out really really good. So I'm gonna have a go, I'm gonna, ugh, I can't speak today, I'm gonna have a go of making these truffles for the pig. So um, you need a hundred grams of the biscuits you need like, I think it's about 25 grams of the spread, um, some white chocolate and some cream cheese. I know it's a soft cheese, right? <laughs> I don't know if I've been dumb or what, but um, I was in the cheese aisle for ages yesterday in Tesco. Um, I could not find cream cheese anywhere, so I googled, is cream cheese and soft cheese the same thing? And it's kind of the same thing, um, so... I'm using soft cheese. Okay, so let's get making these truffles. Crumple them up and like smash them all together.
go ahead and pop this in the microwave. Okay, just gonna get another spoon. Let's mix this together. Oh my god, that looks so good. So I've just added a few Biscoff crumbs on there um, and yeah I'm just going to pop these in the fridge and they should be good to go in about an hour. Picnic time! Try truffle, try one, try one, try one. It's good. Oh, guru. Why are they called truffles then? They're not truffles. I don't know, that's what the thing said. So we got the wraps. Surprise you for doing my birthday. We got Alex moaning about his wraps, but <laughs> I nearly put cucumber on, but I didn't. We got crisps. We got truffle things. We got some Twixes. I got my little cocktail. Good? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I don't think that I'm going to be carrying on with these lockdown vlogs just because things have kind of gone back to normal it, well no no they haven't gone back to normal at all um, i'm talking out my ass so a lot of people have gone back to work who work in like construction and kind of anywhere where they can be socially distant like clothes shops aren't open yet hairdressers um like tattoo shops um Pretty much all that kind of thing is still not open. As of the start of next month, I think that them, I think shops are opening next month, and then the month after that, they're speaking about um, like pubs, cinemas, restaurants, all that kind of thing. I'm not going to be back at work for a little while, but yeah, there's nothing like there's nothing new to say. Um, socially distancing, social distancing is still a big thing. Um, although debatable as I went to Tesco the other day to do some shopping and I didn't have to queue up outside which I thought was a bit strange because every time I've been or like my mum's been we always have to queue up outside sometimes even, only for like five minutes but um, it ensures enough people coming out to let enough people in so that everyone could be spaced apart enough but um, yeah so I was a bit hesitant to go in and then when I was in, it did seem busier than normal and it's just really stressful because you're trying to go the right way because there's, there's arrows and you're trying to follow the arrows and go the right way um, but then it's hard if people aren't following the arrows and they're coming towards you and there's not enough room for like people to come past you and like create that distance um, and yeah and then like I was in a massive massive queue to the checkouts which kind of just proved that I mean there was enough staff on the checkout so that proves to me that they were letting too many people in and then my mum she had gone she'd gone shopping a couple of days before and just said it was crazy so I think people are starting to become a bit lax about things still can't hug my boyfriend or my friends or anyone who doesn't live in this house so yeah, that's, that is it. Um, I don't think that I'll be traveling anywhere internationally this year or for the rest of this year, which I'm really sad about, but it's just one of them things. I'm sure I'll get over it. I'm just waiting now for like, me and my boyfriend really want to go camping. So 
I'm waiting for one being able to be in contact like actual physical contact with people who aren't from your household so that we can actually go somewhere together in the car and then two um even just for campsites to be open so um yeah just waiting for campsites to be open so then we can go to places around the uk but obviously i totally understand that these pla these places where people usually go to um they don't want people coming all from all over to visit them places therefore increasing the risk of the people who already live there getting the virus so it's just i don't i don't know everything is up in the air my f my best friend she's thinking about well she's already postponed a wedding once so she was supposed to get married in august she's now pushed it to october but she's thinking it's going to be next year now and it's also my anniversary next week so it'd be weird not being able to like give each other a hug or a kiss um but we'll try and probably do like a picnic or something like that hopefully the weather will stay good and then it's my dad's birthday in a couple of weeks we were supposed to have been going to a gig together obviously that's not happening so we um, yeah it was weird we joked a few months ago we were like ah imagine if you've got to have your birthday while all this is going on dad and i'm like yeah <laughs> um we are i think now on about 36,000 yep still the second highest death rate in the world you know we're gonna look back i think at this and just be like i think we we've hopefully learned a lot from how we've handled it compared to other some other countries there's things that we've done well there's things that we've definitely not done well on at all um so i'm gonna wrap this up i think if you've been watching these thank you very much for watching i have made fun creating them i just i've completely run out of ideas um there's really not much else to say unless something really really big happens um there's there's not a lot yeah there's just not a lot to say really or to film so yeah thank you so much for watching these and please go and watch my like main videos or my travel videos i am trying to get better with my editing and my filming i have been learning um like throughout this time that i haven't been at work and i've been editing more i've been learning little tricks and things so hopefully my videos are going to look better so yeah please keep sticking with me um and if you haven't already please subscribe and like my videos that would be a massive help leave me some comments i always get back to everyone um so yeah cheers guys and um i'll see you in some future videos